this is meteorologist Mark Molnar. Thank you for joining me for Hurricane Northeastern and Winter Northeastern. As we're still dealing with hurricane season, let's get right into those particulars. We're starting off with first winter storm outlook, and then we'll get into the tropics. But here it is, the Atlantic view. You can see out here Sebastian, Tropical Storm Sebastian here. There is that tropical storm just to the north or east northeast of Puerto Rico here spinning out. Take a look at the winter storm outlook and then we'll go back to the tropics. Taking a look at the east coast here, we're looking at interesting scenario. We're teetering on the edge between fall and winter here. Don't see any major organized areas of winter storm activity, but we will have some interesting areas here in the northern Adirondacks, the northern White Mountains, into southeast Canada, and maybe a response to the lakes on Friday night. But other than that, we're not looking too bad here. We will have the jet streams coming together from the Ohio River Valley onto the east coast and the subtropical jet coming out of the southeast, keeping things pretty active here and becoming a drought buster here to say the least here for the southeast. So getting right into the tropics, yes, we're still talking about the tropics here in the latter portion of November. There is Sebastian, Tropical Storm Sebastian, spinning to the east northeast of Puerto Rico and the Lesser Antilles, moving off towards pretty much shipping lanes here Went top sustained winds in the mid 40s, 45 miles per hour, may peak around 50, 55 miles per hour before slowly dissipating as we head towards the weekend and becoming absorbed into the westerlies. But there you have it. We're still dealing with the tropics here. This tropical season does not want to die. And the rest of the tropics, we got the intertropical convergence zone. It's starting to settle down slightly, but like I said, there's Sebastian spinning out in the open Atlantic here on November 19th. That's pretty amazing. Let's get right into the forecast. We're starting off with precipitation amounts across the country. Look at this. We're looking at a lot of precipitation here out in the desert southwest. Busting that drought as well here in the southeast, the plains, and up through the east coast here. We will be dealing with a lot of rain and then further north some wintry mix and snow. There's that weather pattern. Very interesting. We've got that subtropical jet bringing a lot of moisture into the desert southwest here. And as we head across the country, look at this. Look at this pattern here. If we had some big storm that were to develop, this, this could really tap into some of this energy. We've got the subtropical jet and the polar jet here across the upper Ohio Valley into the northeast, and they're combining forces. Now, for people that love snow, unfortunately, this will be a big rainmaker on Friday. But if this were to be snow, that would be quite a formidable storm here across the mid-Atlantic. Mid so right now we're looking at a big rain producer. The low will head pretty far to the north, so that'll keep the heavier snow into southeast Canada and maybe northern, extreme northern New England. So there's the weather pattern looking very interesting, but we're looking at snowfall amounts here across the Northeast. This takes us all the way through Saturday. Most of this snowfall around the lakes into the Northern Adirondacks, the Northern White and Berkshires will occur later on Friday on the backside of that system as some of that rain changes back to wet snow. Looking up birds of one to three, maybe four inches in some of those higher elevations. We're getting right into the forecast. We're starting off with your Wednesday, midpoint of the week across the northeast. Not looking too bad here across the northeast. This could be a lot colder, but nevertheless, we're looking at mostly 40s here, some upper 30s here across the New York State Thruway, and we will see a smattering here of a wintry, a light wintry mix scattered about, but nothing to cause any major travel problems. Into your Thursday, there it is. The day we start to see off the screen here, that next storm moving in, maybe some late day showers over towards Erie and Pittsburgh. Temperatures warming up towards the 40s in most areas like Binghamton, Scranton, Erie, State College, all the way over towards southern New England here. Staying in the 30s here in the North Country. And then we head into Friday. There it is, that cold front pushes in from the west. We get that warm front, it pushes all the way to the Mohawk Valley in the southern Adirondacks of upstate New York. And we get heavy rain here moving across the region, anywhere from a half to three quarters of an inch likely. 
with this system winds will be howling too at 25 to 35 miles per hour as this low heads across the St. Lawrence that'll keep most of the snow and wintry mix bottled up here into Canada maybe changing back to wet snow later Friday and here it is Saturday we get that front pushes all the way through scouring out all of that moisture however we do have another wave here off the screen into the Ohio River Valley that will be pushed, try to push some more moisture later on Saturday up into Pennsylvania and the southern tier of New York. Some of this could be a wintry mix as well. So we'll have to watch that. There's a lot in the models have to work out at this point and whether that energy comes together in the Tennessee and Ohio valleys here. But here across much of the Northeast, we'll be pushing that first system off the screen temperatures will be on the tumble here into the 30s. Let's take a look at my five day from Binghamton to Scranton's upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Here you have it all the way through Wednesday cloudy for the most part few wintry mix rain snow showers possible temperatures up near the upper 30s near 40 into your Thursday overnight lows not looking too bad right around 30 into your Thursday cloudy increasing clouds Heading up towards the 40s into your Friday, rain likely up to half to three quarters of an inch, wind and rain into Saturday. We'll try to scour that out, but later Saturday, like I says, possible wintry mix developing again and clearing for your Sunday. Temperatures up towards the 40s. That'll do for this edition of Weather Northeastern, Hurricane Northeastern. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com and MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com. That'll do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.